Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Plays Neverwinter Nights. I'm your host Lorefet. In today's Neverwinter Nights build video, we're going to be looking at the Weapon Master and we're going to make a nice build out of it called the Weapon Master of Devastation. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Night videos like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to update on my Dungeon Dragon content and more. So this build right here will focus uh, on the Weapon Master. Yes. The prestige class that people only take 7 to 10 levels. And let me tell you right now, this prestige class is really nice down the road. So let's go ahead and uh, check our uh, characters right now and start this uh, build video. Now, we're going to do uh, gender. Doesn't matter. Your one will be fine. Now, we're doing human because the extra feet and skills. Go ahead and do uh, that. Now, as for portraits, those of you who does custom ones, kudos to you. Just pick any one that you feel right clean custom ones now here's the classes we're gonna go over first of all we're gonna do fighter some barbarian levels not much but still we we'll do those eventually after a while we'll access the weapon master yeah we're gonna need intimidate we're gonna use the barbarian levels to actually get the intimidate part really quick done yeah in two levels of those so we're gonna pick fighter alignment any will uh, matter do not pick lawful because barbarian so let's go to ability we're gonna do is 16 strength Dexterity is 14, Constitution I'm doing 12, Wisdom 10, Intelligence 14, and Charisma 10. And if you need any of those extra stats, you can do via items. Our main focus will be strength though when we level up. Everything will be going to strength because yeah, we're going to eventually devastate crits and we're we'll going to go for a 30. Now we're we'll going to go ahead and pick the skills. Now for the fighter, for now we'll do Discipline and Heal. Eventually we're going to do Intimidate. That's going to be our uh, talky skill. So I'm not going to put points in that. And spot and listen. You also do any others too if you feel like it at this point. Now as for the feats, I am doing weapon focus because that's a prerequisite. I'm doing great sword because the uh, damage on that is nice. Scrimitar is very nice and also long sword and other weapons. So let's go ahead and look for the other ones we're going to do. We're going to do dodge and expertise because that's part of the uh, weapon master setup. So, my final advice about this uh, build right here is uh, very uh, simple. This is a melee focus uh, build. So, you have to focus on uh, melee stats. That's why I'm doing strength. If you do not like Barbarian, well, you have to start putting points every level as a fighter. Another good alternative are Rogues and also uh, Monks too, if you want to go for their uh, feats. So, other than that, just... Uh, Use uh, my setup because I let me tell you all right now the barbarian part of the levels are really nice, really nice. You know it's only up to five, but they're really nice. Couple it with a fighter, and then the best part was the weapon master. You'll see that later on in the uh, video. So create your character how you feel like. Even make a bio. So we're uh, done with the character creation. So what we're gonna do right now is skip ahead towards the next portion of the video, which is uh, leveling up. After character creation, we're ready to uh, level up. Yeah, there'll be some fire levels, a few barbarian levels, some fire levels, and eventually we're going to go 1 through 10 on the weapon master. You'll see in a bit. So let's go ahead and just level up. We're going to do a uh, fire level uh, 2 here. So only skill we're going to actually take for now is discipline and heal. Yeah, we'll uh, take those for now. Intimidate we'll uh, do when we hit the barbarian levels because that's like... Uh, class skill so let's go ahead and look at our uh, feats mobility we're going to pick that because that's a prerequisite for the weapon master so now we're going to do level three and it's going to be a barbarian so same thing disciplined heal because that's a class skill intimidate oh we're going to max that out we're also going to max out listen if you don't like listen pick something else but intimidate you need to have at least like eight points yeah seriously you uh, do so now let's go uh, down the list here. Let's go uh, look around and let's see if I can find anything. I believe at the time I did it was a power attack. I am not certain. Let's go ahead and look. Yeah, and I'm trying to look for it. And it should be right about over here. I'll probably glance at it a few uh, times. And there, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm keep on glancing at it. I was trying to make sure there's extra rage or isn't. Yeah, but seriously, there isn't. But still, pick a power attack. If you want more barbarian levels, go ahead. But you're going to lose some feats. And there you go. We pick power attack because that's a prerequisite to cleave. And we're going to need that for uh, great cleave later on. That's why I picked that. So you definitely want to go with power attacks. Now we're going to go back to uh, fighter. Strength. This whole build is nothing but strength. Now I pick your disciplined heal and that's it. And store the points. Yeah, that's what this is all about here. Storing points. 
So I'm gonna pick fighter again and let do discipline and heal, store the points. You can do this up to 40. Weapon specialization. I pick great sword because of the burst damage. You can pick any other weapon you feel like. If you do exotic feats, I'll take extra, an extra feat. Now we're doing the barbarian level again. Same thing, discipline, heal, intimidate, and listen. Leave spy alone. We're gonna pick that for the weapon master. So now we're gonna look down the list here. I'm trying to find it. I believe I wrote down spring attack. Yep, we're gonna pick that cuts. That's uh one feet away for whirlwind, and we're gonna need that for the weapon master to unlock it now. So we got intimidate unlocked. That's very easy. So now we're gonna pick fighter again. Uh, same thing. Uh, just discipline, heal, store the points. Yeah, we're gonna store the points. Yeah, intimidate's at nine, so we're good to go for that. No feats for this level. Oh well, we're gonna pick up. Uh, Let's see here. Fighter one more uh, time. We're going to do strength. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do this plan and then heal. Hit that. We're going to go down the list to uh, Whirlwind. Great news. Now we have access to the Weapon Master. Yes, we uh, do. Now we're in a new part of this build. That's the Weapon Master. We got that unlocked. So same thing as the skills. Discipline, heal, intimidate, and listen. Now if you don't like listen and especially spot, pick something else. You have points left over, just uh, pick whatever you want. I picked open lock because I figured, yeah, I'm going to have some fun with that. It's like low level, but oh well. So now we're going to do is go ahead and uh, grab improved critical. Oh, yeah, we're going to definitely do that. So pick the weapon, whatever is in your weapon focus for improved critical. My case is the great sword and weapon of choice. So we uh, did that. And our threat level is now down to 17 through 20 for the great sword. A lot less if you're using a scrimmy. Or any uh, of those other weapons. So let's go ahead and uh, repeat the same for the skill. That will be discipline and heal, intimidate, spot and listen are your options. And there's no feat for that level. So keep on going the weapon master until we get that to uh, 10. Same thing with the skills. Yeah, exactly the same. We're going to be doing that. Yeah, those are the skills we're going to focus on. And there you go. You won't get some feats during the weapon master levels, but that's fine. So now we're at the point of the uh, attributes. We're going to pick strength. Yeah, like I said before, nothing but strength here. All strength. You heard me right. Same thing, discipline, heal, Tim Day, and whatever other uh, skill you want to pick. You could pick tumble if you want to, unless you're not using any armor. But still, now we're in the uh, feet section here. So we're going to pick cleave. So we're going to work towards great cleave now for the feats. So we're going to pick our weapon master again. Yeah, we're going to go through the levels and through the motion. So we're at weapon master five. We're halfway there. For under 20 you only get 10 uh prestige class uh under uh 20 and then you have to select another class so we're gonna do it again weapon master same thing discipline heal intimidate and then listen and spot that's your uh, option if you want to pick that and there you go we're just keep on leveling at this point for the weapon master besides it's a great class to uh level up now many uh what you call it, other uh builds they just limit them to either seven or uh ten this video, we're going to do much as we can. So this one, we're going to pick Great Cleave. Now we have the prerequisite for Dev Staying Crit. And we also have Kai Critical. So we drop another threat range. Now using a Scrimitar, yeah, a uh, Scrimmy, yeah. Uh, you'll uh, drop that down to actually 12. And then uh, Keen drops even more. So we're going to pick Weapon Master. Again, we're going to pick Strength. Yeah. We're going to try to get to uh, 25 fast. In this uh, build, we're doing 30. Uh, same thing with the skills, uh, same as before for the Weapon Master. We'll call it Weapon Master Skills at this point. No feats, unfortunately. So we'll just keep on leveling up. We're at 9, so we're one step away from a temporary uh, cap for the Weapon Master. And there you uh, go. We got one more Weapon Master level to uh, do exactly, so let's go ahead and uh, just uh, do it. Same thing, Discipline, Heal, Intimidate, Listen, and Spot. Listen, and Spot is optional. So we'll pick those and let's see over here. I'm trying to find it and try to look down. Yeah, at this point, you just uh, pick any you feel right. And I'm trying to see here. Okay, let's do a uh, blind fight. So this way you have a better chance against invisible uh, foes. Now at this point, we're going to do is uh, simply pick barbarian first. So we're going to do discipline, heal, intimidate, and listen. We can't do spot. Now we're going to alternate to a fighter. Yeah, we're going to do that exactly. So go ahead and pick it. Pick strength. There you go. We're at 21 strength. This is a very good uh, sign. So pick the uh, skills for fire, which is discipline, heal, and that'll be it. 
Now we're going to do is uh, do Barbarian for uh, two levels and that'll be uh, it. We're going to do Discipline, Heal, Tim Day, and uh, Listen. Yeah. We'll uh, do uh, those. We'll leave Spy alone because that is not a uh, class skill. So let's uh, look over here. Let's go ahead and find it. It should be Epic we Weapon Focus. Yeah. We're going to be uh, going for uh, that. Yeah. Epic Weapon Focus. We'll uh, do that. We're going to do one more uh, Barbarian level because if we would do a Fire level, that'll be an empty uh, feat. And besides... We'll get a Barbarian exclusive feat too. Same thing as for the skills for the Barbarian and that is it. So that's it for the Barbarian. Let's go ahead and finish the Fire 2. This one will do Discipline and Heal. Now we're going to pick a feat. We're going to do Epic Weapon Specialization. We'll uh, pick that one. There you go. We'll uh, do more damage now. And we're uh, done with those two. Now from here on out we'll be Weapon Master. So this will be a very easy part of the uh, build. So, same thing, pick strength, uh, do discipline, heal, intimidate, listen, and uh, spot. Listen spot's optional. If you don't like it, you can switch it to uh, something else when you uh, start from 1 through uh, 40. So, now at this point in the video here, yeah, we are uh, doing just uh, leveling up the Epic Weapon Master. That's what it is officially. So, I'm going to try to look, and there it is. Great strength. Yeah, we're going to get some extra strength here. So, this is uh, good. Uh, same thing as the uh, Weapon Master skills I previously uh, mentioned. Pick those, and there you go. No feats, unfortunately. Yeah, we're uh, going through the Weapon Master motions at this point, which is really good. Yeah, we're building ourselves a nice Weapon Master. And we're doing Overwhelming Crit. This is the last prerequisite before Devastating. Once we get Devastating, and that's uh, be all said and done, and you should be done with the Hordes of the Underdark by then. So once again, we'll uh, pick Weapon Master, Discipline, Heal. We'll do those. Intimidate, Listen, and Spot. Yeah, we're we'll do those feats. And now we have one remaining feat left to uh, do. And I think I'm going to do is uh, Great Strength. Yep. Yeah. There you go. We got 24 Strength. This is what we want here. Now we're going to hit 25. Uh, same thing as the skills before. At this point, you look for high-level modules to do. Or if you're on online servers, yeah, you're doing those too. No feats, unfortunately, but we hit the 25 strength uh, prerequisite. So now we're getting devastating crit next time uh, we have access to it. Because that's really good. Yeah. In other words, anybody who doesn't uh, survive a 4-2 save gets killed with this uh, feat. And there you go. Of course, that's when a crit happens. So we got that done. So now we're going to do is just uh, level up to 40 at this point. Get some nice feats going. I'll start pointing them out. Skills, I'll say same as before. And let me uh, look down the list. Epic Proudness. Get a little bit of bonus in our attack. See, see, we've got some nice bonus for that. And we're just going to level up the Weapon Master once again. Yeah, at this point, you're just uh, leveling this up, which is really nice. Now, let's go ahead and level up the Weapon Master some more. Yeah, we're uh, doing Strength. Yeah, anytime we do those uh, attributes or abilities, when you uh, level up on certain fours, yeah, you uh, pick Strength for this uh, build. We'll do armor skin. Get ourselves a little bit of natural AC. So now we got 21 AC with a uh, mundane full plate. Yeah. We uh, have that. So let's go ahead and just uh, level up again. You know, the drill on these skills. And of course, we have ourselves another uh, feat situation here. Yeah. We have that. Which is uh, really good at this point. My notes I was saying at the time, should I write down great strength or I should go for a knockdown? Yeah, it was one of those I decided to go for. Yeah, I went for knockdown, so this way I could start knocking down uh, casters if I uh, connect. Well, guess what? The fun begins. So, we'll uh, again level up the skills. You should know the drill by now. Yeah, there you uh, go. And we're going to do is uh, just uh, do it again. We're going to do a, a course uh, Weapon Master. Yeah, this, uh, this is like very easy part of the uh, build here is uh, just uh, go ahead and do it. We'll do Epic Toughness. This is good right here. Yep, see? Epic Toughness. Get ourselves a little bit more hit points. And I was in the Weapon Master uh, pool. So we'll do Strength again, which is, uh, yeah. So it's at 27 now, which is really good. We're getting closer to that 30 mark. That's uh, for sure. So let's uh, go down. I'm looking. Great Strength. Yeah, let's just go for it at this point. Great Strength. And we're going to do is Weapon Master. We're at 24, which is really good. We're, zoom, we're zoning in on that cap. Oh, yeah. We're uh, definitely uh, zoning in on that nice uh, cap. There you go. We're going to level this up again. We're going to hit this one. And let's go ahead and do a Discipline Heal. We're almost two levels away because 43 is the skill cap. 
Epic toughness, more hit points. We uh, want that. There you uh, have it. Let's go ahead and pick Weapon Master. We'll uh, do Discipline, Heal. We're going to boost our strength on our, our feet here coming up. Yeah, it's going to be a feet one. So, again, uh, pick Great Strength. This will put you at, I believe, 29 strength. Yeah. So, our next time we level up, we're going to pick an Attribute, which is Strength. Yeah. This will put us at 30. Uh, discipline, Heal, Intimidate, Listen, and Spot. Last time, put your skills in. Otherwise, you'll lose out. And that is it right here for level 1 through 40 on this build. So let's go ahead and talk about the next portion of the video up ahead, which is uh, items. Now we're at the next portion of the video, which is item setup. Also, potions too. Potions, you want strength, dexterity, constitution, and wisdom. Those are very important. As for items, about the uh, same thing. And yeah, you definitely want your weapon focused item. And um, I'm using full plate. That helps out immensely. So my AC is at 28. Yeah, because of the full plate plus 7. Now for other items, if you have look for a keen item, go ahead and do it. Now if you have someone like a caster such as a sorcerer or a wizard. Yeah, if they have keen, ask them nicely to cast that on you. So this way your threat range drops. I'm looking right now for uh, Kai Critical because... That gives you nice threat range. Now, if you're using one of those uh, better uh, threat range ones, such as Scrimitars, yeah, those will help you out immensely. Other than that, just uh, pick whatever items you could find. If you like it, go ahead and keep it. Now, we're going to do our last portion of the video, which is uh, combat. Now, we're at the last portion of the video, which is combat. We're doing the non-critical immune type of foes, which is the Drow Mage, and it's two warrior guards. So what you want to do is uh, when you're near them, go ahead and cast your uh, Rage. There you go. And aim for the uh, caster. Try and knock them down. Since we have uh, what we call blind fighting, yeah, we could have a nice bonus against invisible foes. And already a devastating crit. Another one. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was really uh, quick. Now, if you had one of those better threat range weapons, oh boy, you would enjoy it. Okay, that's enough excitement. So, because we uh, did that so uh, quickly, we're going to pick the uh, undead ones. Yeah, immune to a crit. So, let's go ahead and have some fun with them. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and heal up. And we're going to do is just go straight in and pretend we need to use our rage. There you go. We're going to go after the uh, lich. We're going to knock him down. Let's see. Knock. Unfortunately, he is immune. We're going to use our Kai damage. Spam that. A few more hits, and it's down. Now his Guardian's going to die very uh, painfully at this point. And uh, do more Kai damage, and voila, we did. You can also use your uh, hotkeys, like uh, F5, or better yet, my uh, Kai one is F6. And let's look at this right now. Okay, this is where the fun began was the uh, Devastating Crit. Yeah, we uh, did that. Lily, Lily did a great job of it. As for the undead, it's all right. My final advice is know when to get what type of items. And if you could get yourself a keen weapon, go ahead and get it. Other than that, the Weapon Master is a great prestige clash. You should try this uh, build out if you like the Weapon Master. This is it for my Neverwinter Nights Weapon of Devastation uh, build video for the Weapon Master. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day or night. Also, please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left, and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.